first and 15. Collins to Shockey to the 15-yard line. And Shockey didn't appreciate it being pinned down by Tony Parrish. Well, I'd, I'll take that matchup every day and on Sunday. And all the NFC West teams, if they, they win, they'll be in first in the NFC West. Problem is they're in the NFC East. They're looking to go 3 and one Kerry Collins, the dump pass to Jeremy Shockey. He picks up a first down. Having a kid now, uh, he comes as a risk. And Jeremy Shockey just the New York Post. And obviously, the uh, coach Jim Fossil reading the book. I wonder if he reads Hondo. <laughs> That's some pretty funny stuff. He's, he's plopping along here, so to speak. At any rate, it's uh, Shockey catching balls left, right from Kerry Collins. And it's, it's, it, you know what? Give me the ball. So they did. And he's become the image of the team. Well, he's an outstanding short route runner. He has that ability to get separation. Through Redskins second quarter. Third and ten, New York. And the Giants completed to Shockey. Look at him breaking tackles, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Who needs the damn helmet? Give me the damn ball. 11 catches. Another slow start in the first half. The Giants not so slow. Jeremy Shockey. And boom. Balls over David Gibson. We first heard and saw Shockey in the Hall of Fame game. When? Everybody put him in Kent immediately. <laughs> but, but you knew that he had plays like this. And so watch again, Bob, boom, and he, yeah, he just picked up the whole Giants team, you could see, Cheeky Barber. See? Fourth quarter, Giants trailing 7-zip still, Collins connects with Jeremy Shockey, just his second touchdown, you know he's going to say, oh yeah, uh-huh. Covering very well, but as you mentioned, this is just like last week in the matchup with Brian Dawkins. He is such a physical player and such a big target that if you get the ball up, it's like playing basketball. He goes after the... Working on Newman on this drive. First and goal from the one-yard line. Collins to the air. Floats one. Caught this time. Shockey. Touchdown. Man. 7-3 at the half. Now the third quarter, Collins with play action. Jeremy Shockey not only with the touchdown, but the 50-yard punt. It's good. The punt. 17-16 Vikes Giants at their own 32. And Collins to Jeremy Shockey. Watch this. Little speed, little move, little power. Rubbing, bumping, stumbling. Have a 20-7 lead over the Giants. Gary Collins. Jeremy Shockey, 28 yards. But uh, eventually leads the, leads the game. He started that slide before the ball had crossed the plane. But a couple plays later, they get the touchdown. Anyway, that's Jeremy Shockey in motion, catching from Kurt Wolf. And then what happens here? Well, uh oh, better get over to Shockey. They, they kind of miss it. Roy Williams is on Shockey. They actually get the lineup that they want, but that's a good move by Shockey to the outside. And we forget sometimes what a good receiver he is down in the red zone. Make the two-point conversion, 28-14. Warner, play fake, Shockey, touchdown, 28-21. 10 yards, first down. Then, third down play, Manning, moving forward in the pocket. He looked off into Shockey. You know, the Giants dropped about a half a dozen balls today. Meanwhile, Manning to Shockey, touchdown. There it is, his first NFL touchdown pass. Congrats, 14-7, we have a game. He fakes. It's pretty uh, exacting and complicated play to run in that area. Now, how about this one? Zip to Jeremy Shockey. 31 yards, touchdown. The Giants lead 34-17. They go on to beat the Rams, 40 to go. It's a 13-6 lead for Dallas and Manning to Shockey, and he's going to get a first down. Bill Parcells says no. Uh-oh, uh, Manning. You see the clock with 26 seconds. The snap to Shockey across the middle, and the big fella, touchdown, dragging Roy Williams in. Extra point, good. We're tied at 13. We go to overtime. Third and 10, Manning. Denver coming from the outside. He feels it. He steps up. Who hits Jeremy Shockey? 24 yards, first and goal. For the Giants, setting up. Eli Manning to Jeremy Shockey. Look at this. In the end zone, 26 to nothing. Manning back, wide open. Shockey downfield. He lobs it to him. Makes a diving catch at the one. Rolls into the end zone. Touchdown. Takes the grab. The 
Settle for a field goal, 13-10. Giants come back. Eli Manning, Jeremy Shockey. Nice catch, 20-10 Giants. Lack of concentration, third penalty on this drive for the Giants. But the drive moving down the field as Shockey makes his first catch of the night. Kick, 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 kick. 15 seconds to go. Manning, Jeremy Shockey, eight yards, the weight. Trent Cole. Yeah, outplayed and outcoached. Write that one down. They're the coaches. They get paid money. They call the plays. They come up with the plays. You know, whether they come up with them themselves, they take them from another team. You know, they want to do their plays. Personally, myself, I want to help this team win as much as possible. And it's hard and frustrating when I'm in, you know, halftime blocking. And uh, but what can you do? Nobody open. How do you know, coach? If I can see the. How do you know? Vic struggling. Look at this. Eli Manning flowing to Jer Jeremy Shockey. Shockey. And in from Shockey. the Department of Redundancy Department. How good is Jeremy Shockey? He's yeah, how solid. Good He's solid. He could be as good as anybody in the game if he works at it. Ooh. And a one pick for Romo. Next Giants possession, Manning to Jeremy Shockey. And he continues to score. Roy Williams lagging behind. 19 to 7. Jerry Young, what is it? Has one. With no clocks go burst, Jeremy Shockey tried to step up, but he was baptized early by Glenn Earl right there. That's one of those deep. Great tight end. Tight That's end. a deep leader. But coach, you're a tight end. What does that do to you? That only makes you that only makes you more aware of what's going on, but I tell you, it takes you off a little bit. I don't want to say the word it would have done to me. Great play <laughs> coming back for the football here. Jeremy Shockey can be as good as anybody in the game. He has all the physical talent. Do the job. He watch this. I think he makes a great block. Here they go in by him. Well, don't, don't make him. There he comes. Up. Okay, he's the guy that gets open on that play. Good. Eight catches, 66 yards. Giants win it, 14 to 10. Also, his conviction that would reward him later. First drive, Giants. Eli Manning, give it a shocky. There he is, 17 yards. The Giants not looking good. We're tied at 10 now, and a big play from the two Manning. Waiting, shocky reads him. And Jeremy Shockey's there for the touchdown, 17-10. Football league, he tries to punish people. 22 to three, Portis 126. If you're squeamish, don't look. Jeremy Shockey cut down on this oh. short run by Brandon Jacobs. Take another look. He's blocking, and unfortunately, it's his teammate, Amani Toomer. Oy. Rolls right up on his left leg. Broken fibula. Also has an ankle injury. He is done for the season. So with Shockey out, Eli Manning's going to have to go to his other receivers. Carving up everyone. Breeze. The Jeremy Shockey didn't score a touch on all last year's as a Saint in the end zone for the first time, 21 10 New Orleans. And then Breeze says, I like that. Let me evade the rush. Fire. Shockey, bup, 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 bup. he's got it. Touchdown. 28-10. Yeah, great concentration by Shockey at the back of the end zone, not only to get the ball, but understand where his feet are, keep him in back. Giant Saints drew Breeze to the former Giant, Jeremy Shockey. Breeze throws for 369 yards. Open throw game for them pretty soon here. First and 10, Breeze looking for the home run ball, and it's caught across midfield. A great diving grab made by Jeremy Shockey. He's throwing it to Shockey here. Very wide open. Breeze, here's the throw to Shockey, and it's a touchdown. The Saints are back in the lead. The miracle in Miami has happened. The Saints have won the Super Bowl. What an incredible job.